Okay, everyone, so let's just cut right to the chase. Are carbs good or are they bad? What do you think? <laughs> so hi everyone, Christine here, your mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this video finds you all well. So I felt like it was time, especially as we get closer and closer to summer, to bring up this very controver controversial topic of conversation. Are carbs good or are they bad? Now, as I always say, do your own research. Be your own you know, scientist and nutritionist and doctor, advocate. Just do your own research, come to your own conclusions. What I am going to share with you right now is really my own opinion. Um, yes, I've done my own research on this whole uh, subject matter, but at the end of the day, do your own research, okay? So are they good or are they bad? First of all, I don't label foods, okay? Foods don't have moral value. Carbs are not good or bad, they're just carbs. Now, to that point, um, carbs are a macronutrient. Macronutrients are those large nutrients that we need to survive and thrive at our fullest capacity. Carbs, protein, fat, and water. We need all four of those nutrients in our daily life to really be healthy, to be well, okay? So from that perspective, Carbs are vital. There's no questions on that. There's no question. So the whole like low carb craze and the keto diet, and I'm sure there's other ones out there that are, you know, that eliminate carbs or really do hardcore low carb, whatever it is. Um, unless you have some kind of crazy health condition where you have no choice but to limit some of your carb intake, there's really no reason why you should be limiting carbs, okay? It's not helpful, it's harmful, okay? Carbs are important and vital for so many different reasons, just to name a few. You know, obviously they give us energy, they um, help aid in our digestion, they help our heart muscles, they help our central nervous system. They are huge, a huge, huge, huge help to our brain, okay? That's so important, think about that, your brain, right? Okay, so when you don't get enough carbs in your life, uh, over time, of course, it's not gonna happen in one day, but over time, if you have a lack of carbs in your daily diet, you can have all kinds of different health issues start to arise. Um, low energy, fatigue, chronic fatigue, um, skin issues, hair issues, nail issues, uh, digestive issues, sleep issues, depression, anxiety. Um, oh, what was the other one? Um, oh, you could gain weight. You could actually lose weight to the point of malnutrition. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch, and I'm, I'm not even naming all of them, but there's a whole bunch of things that can start to arise uh, simply from not getting enough carbs into your life. So I understand that this is a very um, controversial topic because, you know, again, this all stems from, you know, the labeling of foods. So any types of carbs that are labeled as bad, we fear those carbs and therefore it's just easier to eliminate carbs, right? That's kind of how we've been led to believe. That's not true. The more you restrict, the more you stop yourself from having those more fun carbs, like, I don't know, bread, pasta, uh, cookies, cakes, whatever it is that you fear most, um, you're more likely to overeat or binge on them even at a later date. And you're, so obviously you're doing yourself a major disservice. It's not that you have to eat all of those foods, but your, food, your body has been desi designed to receive pleasure from food, not just from you know the quote unquote healthy carbs that we know of like fruits and vegetables, but also all those fun carbs like I just said, bread and pasta and rice and cookies and muffins and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with any of that. If it brings you joy, if it makes you happy, go ahead and eat it in any given moment when you're truly desiring it. When you limit, that's when you set yourself up for those moments of shame when you start to overeat and you start to binge eat. And it's a vicious, vicious cycle. I know everyone out there can resonate with this. No doubt about it in my mind, <laughs> okay? So if you're feeling it in the moment, Go ahead and just eat it. You will release endorphins, those feel-good hormones. Your mood will elevate. Your metabolism will actually speed up, okay? Your digestion will actually work better and more efficiently. So all these things start happening in your body simply from eating foods that bring you joy, okay? And when you don't restrict, you're not going to be prone to overeating, okay? And you are still gonna wanna crave all those other those other carbs, okay? You're, you're, I'm telling you right now, your body is so smart, it's so intelligent, it's so wise. You don't have to fear any of those more fun carbs or the carbs that have been deemed as bad, okay? You're doing yourself a disservice by restricting those. If you truly want them, go ahead and eat them. So are carbs good or bad? 
Carbs are just carbs, but they are vital to your overall health and wellness. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a fabulous day and week, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.